Now, always cross-check your numbers, and the way to do that is look at the numbers that are actually in the model. So in the model, we've got 10% sales growth rate and 10% interest rates. So let's have a look at those, and the answer is 21,844. So 10% sales growth rate, 10% interest rates, there's your answer there. And notice that answer is exactly the same as the answer in the model. It's 21,824. So what we've now done in the second case is we've done a two-dimensional data table. Again, if you've got a two-dimensional data table uh, and you want to chart it, uh, select the range here and go under Insert, uh, use a column chart again. But this case, if it's a two-dimensional table, use what are called 3D column charts. These are all 3D column charts. So you could just have it as a straight column. Uh, so let's just click on that. And there's your 3D column chart. Now, a couple of points about 3D column charts is they are quite hard to read. They look good, but they're they're not much used to actually read from. They always face the wrong way, but again, you can uh, hit the, there's an option when you click on the chart called 3D rotation, and that allows you to move it off the side, and what you can do then is rotate the chart until it's a little easier to see.